This is a 22-year-old male with chest pains, difficulty breathing, with a history of heart attack. Four copy responding. Chest pain. 22. Someone this young, if they're actually having an issue with their heart, means that they probably have a pretty extensive history. Rescue for months in. I've been here before. Things like this, we tend to expect the worst and pray for the best. Engine four on scene. Hello, guys. What's going on? This chest. He's having a heart pain. He you know has heart problems. Go ahead and set up for us, bud. Just take your arm out for me straight out. Just like that. No, oh, right over here so I can get your blood pressure. Give me a number for your pain right now. Nine. 144 over 78 on the blood pressure. I'm working on the pulse right now. Attack about 100. You ever had any surgeries before? Yeah, yeah so. Yeah. What'd you have surgery on? Uh -huh. You having pain right now, or does it just feel like it's pumping hard? It's like you hard like you did last time. I don't have a heart surgery. The fact that this guy's had a heart attack in the past and that he's describing the same pain now as he did then, it increases our awareness tenfold. He said more pain, a lot of pressure. Small poke here in your arm, all right, bud? What in the world is this? We're going to take a better look at your heart, OK? Yeah, stay real still for us, all right? It's a stimulant. Get in. Yeah, we got to go. Stimmy, we're going we see that this kid's possibly having a heart attack, it's imperative we get the blood supply back into his heart. Otherwise, he could die. You have a pain right now? Picked up a 22-year-old male patient complaining of chest pain. You said this felt like the same pain last time you had a heart attack and you had to have a surgery? Yeah. Who we believe may be having a heart attack. All right, I'm going to give you nitro, all right, bud? Let it dissolve. There you go. We've given this young man nitroglycerin, which will dilate the coronary arteries, allowing his heart to get a good supply of oxygen. Point to it with your right hand where your pain is for me. OK, feels like an elephant sitting on your chest. OK. We have to get multiple IV access as soon as possible. That way, if his blood pressure drops, we have medications we can give him, anything to help increase his blood pressure to make his heart work better. How long ago was your cold ablation? 2008. That would make you 14 when you had that done? Goodness gracious, buddy. An ablation is pretty much a procedure where they go in and burn an excited portion of your heart, causing it to not beat rapidly. Still have your pain? Yes, sir. Give me a number now. About a five? OK. Initially, it was a little higher, about a seven or eight? Nine? OK. Let's see, get one more blood pressure real quick. As you pull up to the hospital, the patient's doing a little bit better. All right, but a couple bumps coming out, all right? He's going to have EKGs, blood, x-rays, and probably a good trip to the cath lab. That's uh, rare. One that in, is rare. One in 100,000. Some people are born with heart problems, and he's one of them. He'll definitely go in for another ablation. If he doesn't, he'll end up in some kind of tacky rhythm. He was definitely hurt in the night, that's for sure. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Grand <laughs> 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 They're not dead. I can work with that.